Beach FM, locals talking to locals. We're not even at the end of February yet, but Hannah Swartz, Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener, is talking about winter veggies already. Good afternoon mm, to you. Kia ora, Tanya. <laughs> yes, I know, it's totally um, counterintuitive, but that's how you have to be sometimes as a gardener, is thinking about, the you have to season. think about three months ahead, because, mm. um, yeah, the veggies do take a while to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not instant. It's slow garden, you know, slow food, you might say. But um, so I've been lately been starting to get some of the winter veggies into the ground. Leeks are hopefully already in because they, they're the slowest, you know. And I love growing leeks, you know, I love having leeks over winter. That's one vegetable I use a lot of. Yeah, I like leeks. Um, in soup and so on. Um, so, yeah, you want to get them in. They're, they're quite slow growing. Mm-hmm. So ideally, yet January, but, you know, it's not better late than never. Yeah. Um, but today I thought I would also talk about your brassicas because that is things, you know, the whole cabbage family, broccoli, cabbage, kale, which are really winter staples because they like the cool weather. They mm-hmm. like the, the moisture over winter. Um, whereas your tomatoes and zucchinis will be dead by then (laughs) but the trick is to try and find some space to put them in while your tomatoes are still going strong so um you might be maybe it's a bed that maybe your zucchinis or something's finished beans are sort of a bit past it Mm -hmm. so now's the time to really look at preparing your beds for the winter crops because it's quite a good idea to prepare them a week at least or or several weeks before you plant them. So that means putting on things like manure, putting on compost, yep. digging in green manures if you've if you've grown them or else um adding, you know, mulch, straw, you know, or any any sort of organic matter, giving it a really good water and um depending on your soil, give it a deep fork if it's if your soil is clay or um, heavy soil, then um, that will really help you. The crop that goes in next, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, the white cabbage butterflies are still around, so you'll have to work out some sort of protection for your baby seedlings um, until things cool down a bit. But yeah, that can be you know while they're small, it's easy enough to rig up a few little hoops and cover them with some netting or old net curtains or something like that. They're just everywhere at the moment. Yeah, My yeah. cat used to catch them, but she's decided she's too old now, so... Oh, she just watched them. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they can, yeah, they can, um, they lay their eggs, especially on the brassicas, and the cap, the caterpillars just, yeah, demolish your, your little seedlings. So, yeah, be aware of that. Okay. And I see you've got here kale's easiest for beginners, so is it pretty yeah. idiot-proof? Yeah, kale, if you, yeah... Well, and also because you just pick one leaf at a time. So if you're just yep. growing one thing, it's a pretty handy thing to grow um, for your soup or stir fry. I've never tried it. Oh, never tried eating it? No. Oh, I'll have to bring you some in. Is yeah. It, is it sort of a little bit peppery like rocket? It's basically like cabbage. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? a little bit peppery. I mean, you know how cabbage can have sometimes have that little bite, bite. to it? Yeah. It's like a cabbage, but not but like sort of the outer leaf of a cabbage sort of thing. Yeah, hmm. so you wouldn't necessarily want to eat it raw, but yummy cooked. Looks a yeah. bit spiky. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's yeah, there's lots of different kinds as well. Good grief. Mm. It seems to be the superfood of the moment to me. Right, well, if you want to learn more about kale or maybe about gardening in your own neighbourhood, if you've got a group of, say, five or more people together, you can actually email Hannah. Her email address is greengardener at kaupitycoast.govt.nz. Otherwise, go to KCDC's uh, webpage and you can find Hannah that way and maybe get her into a community and get her to share some of her knowledge. Otherwise, catch her here Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays, round about quarter past. 20 past 2. Thanks, Hannah. Have a great weekend oh. and all the best for the garden party tomorrow. Kia ora. And okay. we'll see you on Monday. 106.3 BGFM.